Hey, and welcome back. Something is about to start today that is going to show us humans something we have never seen before. After some 20 years of development, six years of construction and more than a year of testing, Solar Orbiter is being readied for launch from Cape Canaveral, Florida on an Atlas V. For 10 years, ESA, European Space Agency, and NASA, you know who they are, have been building this. A brand new satellite that is going to look at the sun like we've never seen it before. I'm very pleased to say that this satellite was built in England, in a company in Kent. Well done, chaps. It's going to orbit between Mercury and our Sun, but what it's going to look at is really fascinating. The Sun is a giant fusion reactor and it emits energy in all kinds of wavelengths. We perceive it as light or heat in the infrared, but lots of other energies are emitted, some of them good and some of them slightly scary. In fact, all the planets in our solar system, the system that is connected to the Sun, is in a field of charged plasma. These energetic wavelengths of energy blast all the planets. We here on Earth are extremely lucky by having a planet that has magnetic poles, probably because it's molten in the interior and has an iron core. Our planet's magnetism produces fields of magnetic energy which come out of the North and South Pole and loop around us. This deflects the charged particles from the Sun away from us, but concentrates bits of it near the poles, both the North and the South, and we see that as a aura or northern or southern lights. But poor Mars doesn't have a molten core or a strong magnetic field. And what has happened over millions of years is that the sun's energetic particles burn off the very top layer of any planet's atmosphere. It's doing it to us all the time, blasting the lighter elements like hydrogen out into space and stripping our atmosphere of its form. Poor Mars got nearly all its atmosphere stripped by the solar wind, leaving it with almost no gas surrounding its planet. So Solar Orbiter is going to get between the orbit of Mercury and our Sun and look at things like the solar wind with instruments but they're going to get really hot. So they built this heat shield on the front. Sadly, built of ground up animal bones. Oh well, they gave their life for a higher cause. The front of the heat shield will get over 500 degrees Celsius and they're hoping the back will get about 50 where the sensitive instruments are. So today it's actually going to launch from the Cape on an Atlas rocket. But it's going to show us something that I'm going to tell you today that you and I and no one else in the world has ever seen before. It's impossible to see the North and the South Pole of our Sun. And as it's so charged and so magnetic, just like our planet, maybe there's something special there. I predict it could be really interesting when we see the North and the South Pole, there could be a giant deep sunspot 
Isn't it weird how they seem to be chasms into the centre of the sun, where the high-energy physics is being ejected? Who knows? I can't wait for the pictures. And there's more, as they say. The Solar Explorer will be able to stay in lockstep to the sun orbit before satellites went up and went round the sun. Now we can hover over a single place and really see details as they emerge on the surface. Fascinating. There is a satellite up there at present called SOHO and it sent back some stunning pictures. Some of my personal favorite astronomical images. So to close today, here's some incredible pictures with Anthony's great music because the truth is up there, shining on us.